In recent years, Sri Lanka has faced its worst ever economic crisis. Families are dealing with soaring prices and shortages of essentials. Many of the poorest households can't afford enough food. Amid such uncertainty, people like Vavi are struggling to get by. When Vavi was diagnosed with leprosy, it changed everything. She was mistreated at work and lost her job. Her neighbours stopped her from using the communal well in the village. It became harder to find water for drinking, cooking and cleaning. And with no job, she couldn't afford to buy enough food. Vavi felt desperate. How could she continue to provide for her children? At a time when she felt at her lowest, Reverend Joshua, one of the Leprosy Mission's partners in Sri Lanka, stepped in. Hello, my name is Reverend Joshua and I lead KKM, the Leprosy Mission's partner in Sri Lanka. When I was a boy, my family had to flee the country because of the civil war. I grew up in refugee camps in India where food was scarce. We had to make the most of whatever we could find to eat. I was so moved by what I saw in the refugee camps that I knew that when I grow up, I wanted to dedicate my life to helping the poor back home in Sri Lanka. After I had trained to be a minister, I noticed that people affected by leprosy were treated as outcasts. The effects of their leprosy were made worse by poverty and poor nutrition. Without good food, people are more vulnerable to catching leprosy and their bodies are less able to make a good recovery. I met so many people who were in poor health, struggling to earn a living and rejected by their communities. I knew that I had to take action. You will recognize me in these film clips. Although my hairstyle was totally different, I partner with churches like yours through the leprosy mission and together we help communities affected by leprosy in Sri Lanka. One of the most successful things we do is a monthly community meal. We often started with a treasure hunt and I asked the children to go into the gardens to find vegetables and other plants. Then I cook up a big meal with the help of the community sharing ideas about how to use their ingredients. We talk about how to grow and cook nutritious food. The team also performs a drama about leprosy and stigma, raising awareness of the disease and the need to end discrimination. Reverend Joshua and his team worked with Vavi and her family to support them. At their darkest time, they stood with them to help them rebuild their lives. Vavi now has a well of her own, so that she and her children have easy access to clean water. She has also been provided with the plants to help her grow coconut trees and vegetables, as well as training to get the most out of her garden. I gradually started gardening, planting a few greens around my home, Vavi told us. Now it is like heaven on earth. Not only can she enjoy the beauty and produce of her garden herself, she can also sell what she grows. Today, Vavi feels more independent than ever and will have a sustainable income for many years to come. This harvest, will you join with us? There are so many more people like Vavi, living with the effects of leprosy and worrying how they will provide for their families. Together we will do whatever it takes to make sure families in poverty in Sri Lanka have the food they need to enjoy good health and make a living. Your support will help set this in motion. Will you show your love in Jesus' name through the gift of food 
this harvest, helping to break the cycle of leprosy and poverty. 30 pounds could provide 20 coconut trees. 86 pounds could provide a home gardening kit, including tools, seeds and plants, plus essential food for four months. 200 pounds could enable 100 families to learn how to grow nutritious food, thanks to a community meal. Join with us and help more people like Vavi to thrive. Thank you.